Hi back again, new tutorial, we start. Screencast keys are on, you see here what I type or do with the mouse. So we want to make a radio here. Uh, so we start to make the rough stuff there. So add mesh cube. Scale set so then we need here this view and scale Y such like that. That is the base mesh. Uh, we want to bevel each um, edges there. Uh, so for that we make a middle loop and then we select the rest select inverse and now we can bevel first that here so control B move and roll Good, we'll make it another way. I see that have no function there. We have that one. Control B. Not much, but okay. Then here the same. Control B. And now the edges. B and roll the mouse. So that is the base uh, radio mesh there. Uh, we can give them smooth and that was the first file save. Then what we make here is uh, we make the holes uh, and the deep part here with a bump effect this here we take as a texture and this we cut out really and uh, we make this buttons so add mesh UV sphere then make them smaller in the hole so scale X then top view uh, edit mode then we take here with background selection border selection delete the half back there then we make them smaller all in all so scale Y so we have that and now we scale them a little and rotate in the Y so we have done this button there, can bring it in front and take here the last loop and extrude them back to have there such like that. Uh, make shift D no we let it okay so we take this move on it then for the shading we need here a back loop and oh that was the wrong one and front loop so that is that that should have a silver material you see there so we go here material new give them a name type in silver and give them a principal shader we see it here the preview. Uh, we make it metallic, so we type in here one. Um, that is nearly that, but a little roughness should be in. Such like that. That is good. Uh, so, Shift D, we make another one. 
so and now we go edit mode and take here one ring and press P and separate the selection so we have only the ring now and we scale them up a little because we want to cut in a hole there where it is in so from that we use that here as a stamp for that so we take that whole thing close it with F extrude it to the backward and close again with F that is our stamp to make holes in the uh, base mesh so that we see that better what is to cut and what not uh, we're making another material uh, we give them no name it's only to see what is red is a stamp for cutting in materials that is our base good we have done this one this this so we have to do that one here so we take here at mesh circle rotate x 90 degrees scale down bring it there edit mode delete the half then A to select all, shift D, make a copy rotate set 180 bring it there and then close with F and here close with F2 uh, that is the mesh for uh, cutting so for the boolean so with F close that bring that front extrude in the edit mode and done that's our cutting thing so that must be red so we give them a red good you see that there is not so much different from that so shift D we take it for there too we make them smaller such like that then we take the whole back that here and make that a little bit smaller and then we got this uh, button there we make that a little bit smaller here and give them a bevel here in front control B move and roll good so that is our button there uh, to get here the stripes on um, we make bumps for that and this bump um, make first the material so uh, this here should be that material there so we give them a minus and a new material and call it leader and take here the pipette then we can take the color a little bit too dark so make it lighter uh, and it should have a principal shader with that color so uh, and it's gummy so that becomes a, a good effect when it is rough so that is nearly what we need yeah we let it in a moment so we need the bump there later that's correct and that you want to bump and that we want to bump so all that we want bump uh, should be black later and um, yeah so we must make that so we start to model that down part there the deeper part so add curve, bezier curve, rotate x 90 degrees, scale down, go to the start of the roughness, so grab in with the bag, and put it there, edit mode, get middle point, grab, then go there, and then make it in float, so bring it there then we go here middle point extrude to 
that point extrude to the end point here go to the X and then we bring it with grabbing in float good uh, now go from here X true to the down point to start out the roundness there. Then we we'll make that shorter. That we bring to float. Middle point E to X root. Bring to the end of the roundness. Get this point and bring it to float. Same here. Middle point X root. Bring it to the start of the roundness. Then get one point and bring it in float by grabbing and move the mouse. But I see here is the right part, so we go down there. Good, that is more that point. You see it here bad, but it is so. So middle point, X through to the end of the roundness get the point, grabbing, move the mouse, fits, middle point, to the other middle point, with shift, then F to close, and then move it that it fits. So, that is our stuff that should be deeper later. So we bring that here by side, shift D, make a copy of that, and we see that it's not absolutely straight, uh, so we can uh, drag on drop a little. So we get here this stuff and bring them a little to the left. Wow, that was too bad. So, such like uh, nearly. I almost go a little. Good, but it's nearly good. So, um, we convert it as a mesh. So, Alt C, a mesh from a curve. And you see now we have a mesh here, so we can close that whole thing with F. And the bump needs a black or white, so we make that here black. So we give them new material and call it black bump. And that is simply a black. Good. So we have done to make that here deeper from the bump effect and now we need these points as a bump effect. So we get one. Uh, first we save file, save as new version radio 2. Save as plan file and we'll make one of these dots at mesh circle rotate x90 scale down good edit mode F to close give them that black bump material and now we need here an array so object mode modifier array modifier you see it comes there but it is too less so we can go here more to the side and then we say the count should be higher such like that. Oh, that was wrong one here. That is too much, that is too less, so you can type there. Maybe a little bit more, so 30. Good. Um, then we make here um array again. 
and that means we take here modifier ray again but not in that direction here so we give them here a minus one and then we must see where we have him but I see nothing that is really bad so I must try that again we go here to one aha uh -huh. and here to zero yeah there we have it um, so but it must be in a minus so minus one and get that a little bit higher that we come near to that point here such like that and that down until the rest so that that is correct for now and you see the other is between them so shift D simply and bring them between them so you bring it in front the other stuff in front too so that is now our reference for that and that should be bumped too so we bring it a little bit down under you see that there so set like that good that is what we want bump in the first picture there. Um, so we must make a photo from that uh, and put it then as a graphic later as a bump in the note editor on our object. So we take here this one and bring them by the side by grabbing. Then we get the cam here's the camera bring them in front and to get the panel open and at the top you can say the rotation should be zero or should be zero now you see the cam looks like that and now they must turn it in the X to 90 degrees and then we have a straight view from front then we press end again we don't need this panel grab the camera to this position go with numpad 0 in the cam mode then uh, press the middle mouse wheel uh, we go to auto graphic mode here in the cam then we can select here the scale and that is what we want have so um, then the background should be white so add mesh a plane rotate x90 and bring them to the back so that is our bump map for the radio front so we simply need to render that so we render that now Wow, that is no white. Uh, so we take this white one here, give them a material new white, but no diffuse. Uh, we take an emission, and that should work. Now render. So that's our bump uh, for the front of the radio. So image, save as image. Uh, we'll give them a name. So we call it radio front bump. When it should be a black and white, a GPEG with 100%, so save. 
as image. So we done this bump. Uh, now I'm zero to go out of the cam. So normally you can put it now on another layer. So we mark that all and M to move and click here on the second field. So it is on the less oh on the second layer. Same with that, move second layer, file, save. Good. Uh we done the buttons. We done the cut machine for that. And we made that bump. So we need only this types there that we must type manual and we must cut in the holes in the and the thing there in the base mesh. So we go there, shift D, make a copy, bring them down to bring him behind that. Then we get this one there. Shift D, bring them there and get this one and bring that there. That we want cut out from the base mesh. So that should be all one. So we take them all three and join that together as one. Then we apply the rotation scale of that all. The same we make with the white one. So object, apply, rotation scale. Now we have to bring them into the white mesh there. So we take with L, you can select that here and bring that to the same height as the other. Now we can bring them into and now uh, we take the name, the name is sphere 002. So we click here on the white one and say we need a modifier, a boolean. We want to take this um, sphere 002 and it should be the difference between them and say apply and then we see we have here the holes in that are the holes but you see that is ugly there that is because of the shading so you can simply make um this front um, flatten then that is disappears or you simply get there a modifier that called add split then you have the same effect there good we take the add split in this case that we move to second layer shift D make a copy of that bring that down we bring here in our buttons there so in the hole we bring this button uh, we take here solid view then you see a little better where you are so there then shift the other one and bring it there and both should be a little bit more in I think such so like that and then only this little stuff there bring them into two so bring that down and a little bit in front can be a little bit greater I think so scale up a little and position it good you see the different colors that white that is the down dark so that must be recalculated that means we take all in edit mode and then you can say here by shading you we recalculate normals and then you see it is white as the other one same you can do with the crate thing here um, edit mode mark all recalculate and then the normals are outside that is good for that good we done that material mode so for the front we only need that as a texture and uh, the text so we go to next side of the radio 
um, so we see here it from the side that we must build now um, there we will cut these three holes and that only make with a bump effect so that is simple we start here at mesh plane rotate x 90 degrees scale down good edit mode take the down part and simply bring them down then we get a loop in control R and bring here loop then we go with X shoot down there control R make a loop in same we make on the other side X shoot bring it over there X shoot again have the other one then we take this down parts X shoot and bring them down then control R make loops in bring them down a little bit more things so then we close that with F then bring here two loops in there and then extrude that one out so that is our bump what should be deeper later and that needs the color I told it before the black bump material so we bring it in front of our camera uh, we go to second layer there we moved all and there's this white one that we take to the first layer so move to the first layer then we have that white uh, background zero on numpad to go in our cam grab you can position them a little then we render that and we have the bump for the one side So file image save, uh, image save. Then we call it radio side side one bump one GPEG black and white qualities there save good escape to go back zero numpad go out of the camera and we done that so we can bring that by move to second layer good we done that too that is that one here uh, so we must now make the red things to cut that out so then we start again at mesh circle rotate x 90 degrees scale down Rubbing, scaling, good. Edit mode, uh, border selection, delete the down part, A to select all, Shift D, make a copy, rotate X 180 degrees. Rotate nice one hundred eighty degrees you know. Then we connect them by pressing M uh, F. So then we can make that be here and that one. So add circle 
rotate x 90, scale down. And shift D, make their one, but smaller. Good, that are our objects that we want to cut in. So we have to close them all. So F to close that, F to close that, F to close that. We take all and say E to extrude and bring them back. That are our cut models. So we get a smooth shading, you don't need it, but okay. So we give them red material so we know we want to cut with that. Good. So we now take our cut on mesh there. Shift D copy. We rotate set minus ninety degrees. So we look here from the side on it and we bring them now to reference but there and we go as long back as that comes out so you see we have it in there so we now must because we cut it into that so we must again apply rotation scale of it the same with the red one uh, apply rotation scale then we need the name of it the name is circle and we go to the white one and say here uh, we take a boolean and we want the circle and want the difference between them so apply and then we have here the holes in again. So we make the net split on and you see the holes are cut again. This we can move to the second layer. So we have the other holes there. There should be a wheel in it. So add mesh um, cylinder we scale down we rotate y 90 degrees we scale in the x then we have that wheel uh, we will bevel the edges there so we make a middle loop then we get one control b move the mouse row done same on the other side control b move mouse row done um, smooth on it then we need here recalculate and for the shading a loop to the top a loop to the back and then we have that there comes a bump effect on with stripes there so that is more rough um, so we can grab that here to the side but best is we make a uh, fast the material for that that is a gray style so material new gray plastic we take here principal shader, we take here a gray. Uh, it should be a little bit lighter. So we go here and make it a little bit lighter. Then we need the roughness of plastic, so more of that. And then we later make the bump for that. So we grab it and bring it there. Hopefully we see that later. So I give them here the name better uh, wheel. So I can find it by the outliner there. That's maybe better. Must make it greater so I've forgotten that. Good. That here is ready. That here is the old version. 
so the old version can go move to second layer this one we can delete complete that here we make a secure copy shift D of the new type file save so we cut it in this holes but in this holes are black plastic things with a uh, chrome thing in so add mesh circle rotate x 90 scale down yeah then edit mode extrude scale bring it in front get all and extrude to the back here is smooth then we take here black plastic so new uh, black plastic give them here a principal shader dark black not complete black but nearly then a high roughness yep yeah. good that is this little guy there and in the middle should be uh, some that is chrome uh, so at first we make here the back inner part with F closed and then we made there um, shift D scale down so we have a little dot then extrude to the Y so we have a spark there F to close and then we give them here this silver material so plus we have made a silver material so we go to S silver and then we mark that thing with L and silver is clicked and say a sign and then this is the silver thing on there um, you see this move makes here his um, round stuff try so um, we make a middle loop here yes then we bevel this edges there control B move roll same here control B move the mouse roll the middle mouse wheel and here we have one time to control B move and roll then at the back a loop for shading and at the front a loop for shading and that was it that is the thing we put in the sole and shift D make simple copy and plug the other one in two so we bring them to the side too we made a little bit crater that we see that later and find that again so we have done all for this part of the mesh from the radio um, that is the other side there is a wheel and that here should be then the pump effect so make fast that wheel there add mesh cylinder scale down scale set rotate x90 and the same as before smooth then we get here bevel on control b move roll then get here loop at the one side and at the other for shading and that was that mm, that is this gray plastic so we give them that gray plastic too and bring it to the side good here we need this bump effect I told before um, so we only make the deep part as a bump so that means that here and the stripe there and here this uh, big thing there good so we start add mesh 
circle, rotate X90, scale down, edit mode, F to close, good. Then here, add mesh plane, rotate X90, scale down, good. Must bring it in front so you don't see it when you don't do that. Good. Then we bring that here down. Then X shoot. Bring it to that point. We rotate it a little. We scale it a little. Then we grab it and bring it to that position. Extrude again, bring it down, ready to go. You can make that here all correct if you want. I don't want to. So that's correct enough for me. And that goes down there completely to that point. Then we extrude again, bring it there, then we take that one, extrude, bring it there, and make a loop in, and bring that down to scale set zero to make it straight. All done, that is my bump for that. Now only here, maybe need one, so we make one. Add Mesh circle, rotate X90, scale down, scale X, so, then edit mode, and take here the back part, and delete them. Then we get two points, X shoot, bring them down to F to close, that we close with F. So that is our bump for that time. So we join them three together and give them that black bump material. And then we bring it before the cam so that we can make a photo from that. Zero numpad. Then we click here on the lines from the camera, then we can change here the size and make it a little bit bigger, that it fits nearly with the whole picture there. Yeah. And then we render that. Okay, then we save it, image, save as image, give them a name, radio side 2, bump 1, black and white, 100, save as, ok, done. Back, that is done, so we can move that to second layer. Good. File. Save. Okay, I make a short pause here and we see us in the next part of the tutorial. So, see you. Bye.